Hello, my name is Gary with HaveFunWithScience.com and today's demonstration is on Charles Law. You might ask, what's Charles Law? Well, Charles Law has to do with the explanation that when you heat up a gas, the gas expands in volume. The first thing I want you to notice is the density between the two bars. The ivory soap floats while the generic green bar sinks to the bottom. The ivory soap floats because there is a lot of air whipped into the bar. The green bar does not have near as much air in it, so it sinks to the bottom of the picture. To the best of my knowledge, Ivory Soap is the only brand of bar soap that has enough air pockets in it, so when heated, will make something resembling a fluffy white cloud. If you look closely inside the bar of Ivory Soap, it's coarse. There are all kinds of air pockets inside the bar for air to hide in. Here's where Charles Law comes into the presentation. And as you remember, Charles Law states that as the temperature of a gas increases, so does the volume of the gas increase. So, I have the ivory soap cooking in the microwave. And it only needs to cook for one minute. And inside that bar of soap, the air molecules are getting hotter. And as they're getting hotter, those air molecules are moving faster. And as those air molecules are moving faster, they're also growing farther apart. And as they're growing farther apart, a rather interesting phenomenon happens to the bar of soap. It gets big and fluffy and looks like a cloud. So how about the generic green bar of soap? What happens to it when I cook it in the microwave for one minute? Well, it doesn't get near as fluffy. And remember, when I put it in the pitcher of water, it sank clear to the bottom instead of floating like the ivory soap. It sank because it didn't have near as many air pockets inside the bar as the ivory soap did. And because the green bar did not have near as many air pockets, it did not have as much gas contained inside the bar to expand into a big fluffy cloud. So it can only grow a little bit.